Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com. Well, you circled your calendars last year when the schedule came out. It's finally here. The New York Round. This will be round 16 of Monster Energy Supercross 2014. Kevin Barnett and Jim Holly out here on press day. We're getting you started for your weekend early this week. And Jim, it's been a couple of weeks for these guys. It's a little bit of a strange situation to come into New York. What are some of the challenges these guys face with the press and with the schedule? Well, I think the press and the schedule, I mean, you, you know, you got to do the press conference. I mean, look at here. We're in New York, the biggest uh, media market in the United States. You got to come here and you got to do press. But you know what? I think it was actually good for those guys to have a weekend off. You got to remember that they've been running hard ever since the early of January. They haven't had a weekend off. They have Easter weekend off. You know, some of the guys have nagging injuries and things like that. It just gives them a little time off the bike, and I think that's going to be beneficial. But, you know, coming to New York, I mean, I'm just excited to be here. I haven't been here in what 25 years when I raced here in the yep. in the late 80s and I mean you know like you said we're here early for the press conference I mean I was excited to come here I'm not flying back to LA until late on Sunday night I know a lot of the riders also you know Kenny Roxon just happy to get a chance to go over to the city and see New York City and James Stewart staying in the city I mean it, it's a you know it, it's a good it's a good thing that they're here i mean i, I think it's going to be great for the sport and i think it's going to be great for the riders yeah the super bowl of course held here recently this is a remarkable new stadium and the last time it was held here 1991 you know who won that year yeah i would say it'd have to be stanton or, or bale I, I know honda's won every 450 race they've had here and it started out the first two years with ricky johnson and then i think stanton and then bale and then stanton again so i mean honda's dominated here and I'm still waiting for uh, Justin Barsha to win his first in 2014. I mean, how huge would it be if he wins this thing? Not only does he win his first race in 2014, but he also has a chance to win the Toyota Triple Challenge, and that's going to be a brand new 2014 Toyota Tundra. So there's a lot on the line for Justin Barsha here, as well as James Stewart. He's in the hunt for that Toyota truck. Also, uh, Kenny Roxon and Ryan Villapoto. So I mean, I'm going to keep my eye on those four guys. Certainly a lot to fight for if you're Justin Barsha being this year home race for Supercross, an opportunity to perform in front of the home fans. And Ryan Villapoto performed in front of the home fans a couple of weeks ago, nearly wrapped up the title were it not for the good results for Dungey and for Stewart. They had to bring those championship shirts one more week. It seems like he can back it in now. Yeah, I mean, you know, he only needs a couple points. I mean, basically, you know, you, you don't want to go out there and get hurt in practice or anything like that. You just want to get that bike in the main event. But I did an interview with him earlier uh, for Supercross Live, and he said, you know, if the win presents itself, I'm going to go for a win. I'm going to try to get three in a row here. And something else I asked him that you, you uh, brought it to my attention that, you know, there's a lot of rumors going around. Is he going to ride and things like that? Check out that video that I did because I asked him straight up. I said, are you going to ride? He says, hey, I'm, I'm here. I'm fine. I don't know why all these people are talking online and stuff. So he goes, you know, it's just kind of funny that they're talking about that. But and I said, you know, that that's exactly what I said, because, I mean, you've won the past two weekends. You look mm -hmm. fine to me. You know, he goes, I'm fine. Yeah, the rumors are out there. But the truth is he's going to wrap up his fourth title here four in a row unprecedented territory we're not just for Jeremy McGrath he's the only other one to do it yeah and I mean think about that you got to go back to 2010 when Dungey and him had that uh, fight in St. Louis and Villapoto mm -hmm. going down or we could be sitting here it could be five in a row for him but uh, it's gonna be four in a row for Villapoto I mean I, I think that everything's uh, underhand I, I know the mechanics checking the bike uh, Mike Williamson making sure everything's good but uh, yeah they'll be fine but uh, on the other side of that though you talk about rumors uh, Martin Davalos I yeah. hear has some broken ankles a chain broke a milestone you, you never know but hopefully he'll show up if not it's Bogle's championship but you know right behind Bogle though you got uh, Baggett 21 behind with two to go I mean yeah mathematically you still got a shot but it's Bogle's to lose okay so a couple of championships could be secured here in New York will be a lot of fun first time here to see some championships wrapped up we have a full weekend of coverage not only the press conference that just happened there's other press days a lot of press happening throughout the end of the week here we will have of course Supercross live two to five Eastern time before we go racing in New York